It is the Lucia now for Tenobu's government to blame Obi for bad governance, says Labour Party. Says Labour Party. The attention of the leadership of the Labour Party has been drawn to a tweet purportedly from one of the presidential aides, Mr. Bayo Onanoga, linking the Labour Party, its national leader P2B, and very many notable figures in our party to the proposed end governance protest. End bad governance protest. We say that there is no truth in that, and the tweet is just the author figment of his imagination. Labour Party is known for being a very peaceful party, and it has, at very okay, several occasions, asked its followers to follow peace at all times. We are not known as a lawless group, as was evident in the aftermath of the last general election. It is therefore delusional for anywhere to link our supporters to the planned protest. Labour Party, P2B, and our supporters are not planning any protest. However, peaceful protests all over the world are initiated and executed by the people and not by the opposition. No opposition has any control over protests. Popular protests such as in Kenya, Egypt and several other places were a direct registration of the people's frustration against the government. The people have the right to protest and it is within their constitutional right. It is therefore peril for the government or anyone for that matter to begin to look for who to blame for the bad governance that is being witnessed in Nigeria today. Nigeria can still get it right if the right policies are initiated. We also advise that some aides of the presidency must be cautioned to avoid incendiary pronouncement capable of combusting the nation all in the name of playing politics. The thing going on is it is very delusional. Yes, for the government to come out and start pointing fingers or apportioning blames based on the situation of a country or based on the fact that people are frustrated and want to hit the street to protest. It is as in that the Lulu is on like one billion. Look at what is going on today. Even before people started saying they will protest, they will protest. Look at the woman that sells fish in the market. She's complaining. I listened to a particular clip or I watched a particular clip where the woman said that the fish business she's been doing for years to support herself and her children, she can no longer do it. This one is not because that she does not have money. The money she's using to overturn, you know, when you buy, you sell, you go and buy again. The one she took to buy, you know, reach anything. Do you understand? And then people are by cutting some things, people are avoiding some things because of the yes, my person which your food then go this time around, my person which your food then go eat fish or meat. There are some people in their house they don't even meat is in fact egg is a luxury, not even talk of meat or even fish. You understand? Is it the woman that came out how many weeks ago was talking about that she has not seen something like this or the paint of Gary, a paint of Gary? was previously 800, 500, I think there was, in the time they was even selling it for 200. Now it is now 4,000. That is not funny. And you are telling me that it is the opposition. <laughs> we didn't carry opposition inside this matter. Eh? We didn't carry opposition. <laughs> okay. Guilty conscience, instead of your stupid government to make immediate turn around and start communicating, you are playing blame games at this point. Until the worst comes upon you, hmm. APC, you never change. It is obvious your time is up and it is very clear you have zero plans for this country. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it over and over and over again. This government do not have any plans for citizens. They don't have plans for you. They don't have plans for me. They don't have plans for anybody but themselves and their family members. They have entered into that place to root that place dry and to make themselves, you know, rich and rich their pockets. That is all. That is all. It is very difficult at this point in time to see a politician. I say A, that is one politician that is actually people oriented and goal oriented that sincerely and genuinely wants the people of Nigeria to do better or for their lives to get better. Nah. That they will come and say it with their mouth, but deep down in their heart, they don't want it. 
Now then be our own sworn enemies, but unfortunately, most of us do not see it. Remove P2B name out of this. Remove Labour Party out name out of this. It is not P2B who is the president. The citizens in this nation has owned their freedom, their freedom right to protest against Nigeria bad government. Is it only P2B that is living in this nation? I don't know. And see, for a very long time, I don't know, P2B is no longer the way when they come as I can give them gas you know they even come as I can give. This time around, he's very quiet. You understand? Before, you know, you see him, you come as I but now he is not talking anymore and they are just dragging him. It's either they are coming out to say it is P2B and his supporters that are behind the whatever the protest that is going to hold, you know, or they are coming out to say, eh, even the answers that it is even the iPod people, like I don't understand. Are you people why are people being delusional? Huh? Oh, wow. Obi and his anarchy disciples are the ones looking for shortcuts to steal a mandate. They can never win through the back door. He is a nobody but an ordinary citizen of of an ordinary citizen of no more an IPOP be our friend than a Nigerian. We all know the mission of IPOP as a terrorism group that will be has been exhibiting. You people should better caution yourself or you face treason charges. Obi knows he is not competent at all to lead the state successfully talk more of a region. The motive is Biafra and nothing more. This person did I did not say government did they delusion I guess some of <laughs> You get some of us maybe say I want the rule of past one billion. What is the meaning of this? Right now. Now you talk this. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are right, sometimes I'm surprised people will sell the concern. People sell their concerns to the extent that even on a bright day like this, they will call red black. What does the current hardship? Okay, what does the current hardship every individual is facing have to do with Labour Party will be Tunubu and APC government are a big shame and disgrace to this country. The thing is, I'm sorry to tell us, but I warned us. I warned everybody and say, see, unfortunately, if everybody decides to do as they like, now the situation will go there inside. I warned everybody saying, I will see Shady. Few months, this thing I'm talking is not months back. You can say 14 months back. You can say, yes. Before February 25th, I was raising my voice, 2023. I was raising my voice, say, oh, Amon, <laughs> you people will see something. You people will see something. You thought I was joking. No, it don't be. <laughs> you gonna be a or if you're not heard correct, then I decide to hit the streets. No, voila. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for today to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.